Hello everyone, I'm Sue Biggs and I'm Director General of the RHS and welcome to what's already the last day of Virtual Chelsea. I can't believe it's gone so fast. So I hope you've all enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it and my thanks go to everybody who has contributed towards creating this fantastic show. So I hope you've been as inspired as I have by all the designers and the florists and the growers, our great British nurseries. And I don't know about you, but every time I come back from a show, real or virtual, I seem to find that my lawn in my garden shrinks and my borders get bigger. Uh, so I'm sure that's going to happen again now. And it's particularly great that the, the garden centres have reopened so we can all do that again, which is just fantastic. So I think... It would be very true to say that everyone has found how vital gardens are for our mental health and our physical health during this terribly difficult time over the COVID crisis. So I would really ask, I'm really glad everybody's watched the show, but now in this glorious sunshine, let's make sure that we all get out in our gardens and really enjoy the wildlife, to listen to the birds sing, the butterflies and the bees going past, to smell the roses, literally. Uh, to enjoy that touch, that calm more than anything. So I really hope we have inspired you to love your garden more. But I think those of us who have got gardens already don't really need telling that because we know about the beauty of it. And that's one of the reasons why we want to get more young people gardening. And I know from my neighbours here that their children who are being homeschooled have had a great time putting out and having sunflower seeds out. So if you've got children or grandchildren, I know my mum got me hooked on gardening when I was seven with a square yard of our garden in Sheffield for my birthday present. And if you can get your children or grandchildren hooked, then I think you will have done them a great service to get them into gardening. Well, I'd like to really close this op the opening of the last day. I'd like to close by thanking all of our incredible exhibitors. Do you know the landscapers, the designers, the growers, the trade stands? We are so lucky in this country to have such a talented profession. And on top of that, we work with the wonderful Royal Hospital Chelsea. And I hope you saw the piece with the, the pensioners because they can't help uh, but make you smile. And we were so grateful that every one of them came together after the sadness of the cancellation of the real Chelsea to then actually help us create this fantastic virtual Chelsea flower show that is for everyone in the UK and all around the world for everyone to enjoy. So if you're a member or a donor, I've got a very, very special thank you to you because without you, we wouldn't be able to continue and help weather this storm. It certainly hit us financially, so we are very, very grateful for everything that you have done to help us. And if you're not a member yet, um, or and you've enjoyed our show, it would be great if you could donate whatever you have to help us continue our work. But even more, we would love you to join the RHS so that we can carry on talking together about the wonderful power of gardening. So if you can, you will help us continue our work as a charity into scientific research to help the environment, into growing the next generation of gardeners so we don't lose all those skills into the future and again help the environment. And also helping to transform communities where not everybody's as lucky as we all are to have a garden. And that's a lot of our work too. So thank you for joining Chelsea, Virtual Chelsea 2020. Uh, we really are grateful you came but we can't wait to welcome you back. So on behalf of everyone at the RHS and all of our wonderful exhibitors, we're really looking forward to seeing you at Chelsea 2021. Thank you.